Hello everybody, welcome back to Thiege's Notebook Review. I'm your host, Joel Michael, and I recently reviewed the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3i. This little beast of a gaming machine came with a teeny tiny SSD, only 256 gigs to be exact. That's not nearly enough for a thorough gaming laptop reviewer like me, so I immediately went about installing a 2.5 inch 512 gig SATA SSD. The process wasn't exactly easy, so I figured I'd better make a video in case someone else wants to upgrade their little beast, too. First, take out the 10 Phillips screws from the bottom. There are two different lengths, so leave yourself a little diagram as you remove them. I'd greatly recommend using a prying tool to get the cover off. These little plastic grips are rather tough. Some of them will break off eventually, but not until the third or fourth time of removing and replacing the cover. Once the guts are exposed, unseat the caddy by removing the four screws around it. Before mounting the SSD in the caddy, find the SATA adapter that came with the notebook. Don't install it yet, lay it where it's supposed to go to figure out what side is right side up for the SSD. Now, using the four screws found in the same package as the adapter, mount the SSD in the caddy according to which side faces up. Place the caddy back in the notebook and screw it in. It's time to plug in the adapter. Place it in the slot next to the SSD as far as it'll go, then flip the black flap 180 degrees over the cable. Remove the adhesive tape on the bottom and make sure it's secure. Now connect the adapter to the SSD. After all that, voila! The SSD should be correctly installed. Pop the bottom cover back on, firmly press on all sides so it snaps back into place. Replace the 10 screws. Boot to Windows and please don't panic if your new SSD doesn't show up immediately. If the drive is brand new, it shouldn't be visible yet. Right click on the Windows button, then left click on Disk Management. You should see a single box on the bottom with a black header that contains whatever GBs of unallocated space. If you don't see it, that means the adapter isn't connected right and you have about 5 seconds to turn your machine off before it explodes. <laughs> Just kidding. The adapter is either not plugged in far enough or the black flap is loose and not pushed over all the way. If you can see a box with a black header, go ahead and right click on it, then left click on new simple volume. In the wizard, if you just click next a bunch, it'll set you up with the largest amount of space and the next available drive letter. Once the wizard is done, look at that. Now you have more space to put crap. Go you. This has been a tutorial on how to install a 2.5 inch storage drive in the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3i. If you haven't seen the review, check it out. It's pretty cool and not overblown like most of this footage. I promise. Once again, I'm Joel Michael. Leave a like and subscribe if you want, and you guys, have a good night.